Hello, welcome back to the channel. The cricket is over. So, we're getting to see a bit of Scarborough today. And we're heading down to the front. Excuse the seagulls in the background, or birds, whatever they are. Oh, there's my dad. Barbara and Caitlin, just down there. Give us a wave. <laughs> So with the cricket finishing a day early and a good win for Yorkshire against Gloucestershire gives us a chance to see a bit of Scarbados. Another lovely day. Big wheels going. So it's fairly busy for a Wednesday. Beep, 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 beep. Fairly busy for a Wednesday morning. Now the big wheel. Who can remember what they were before? What were there before? Leave us a comment if you can remember what, where the big wheel is now. What was there before? Very popular venue it was. So now you've got the big wheel and Adventure Golf. Look, we've even got people sunbathing. Lovely sandy beach in Scarborough. Donkeys are out, there's only four of them. Had a few donkey rides in my time here. And we used to go on some swings, me and my sister down here. Anybody remember them? Here's a nice seafront in Scarborough. Gillies Leisure Centre, I used to go in there with me nan and play bingo at Gillies. Here we go. Deck chairs and windbreaks, £4 each, pound deposit. No ticket, no refund. Now I don't want to encourage stealing, but worth for We didn't take it home here. <laughs> I'm joking by the way, I am joking. Oh, in Benidorm, Scarborough Mobility. There's Gillies. <laughs> this is where the swings used to be. Anybody remember them? Used to pull a rope. I'd sit one side, my sister sit other, and you used to pull a, pull a rope to make them swing. Anybody remember them? Oh, look at this, Hannah Jessica. Flamingo. Flamingo Bay. Oh, it's an ice cream parlour. There's that lifeboat. Lifeboat centre. No dogs on this part of the beach. I think you've taken down far end by the spa. The fish pan, I think we'll go in there later for fish and chips. Music. Music playing from someone's car. We'll cross over at these lights in a minute, just wanted to get a bit of footage from this side. Yep, that's the lifeboat centre. Two cross. The silver dollar. Not to be mistaken with the Silver Door in Benidorm, which is a bar, that is amusements. Just come here with me now and get some um, prawns. Come fish man. 
still a couple of them going, look. Where have they gone? Have they overtaken me? Here they are, look, looking for me. Looking across the road for me, they don't even recognise me, look. Look, look it wrong way. <laughs> so a bit further on now. John Bull. Big rock maker since 1911. Here's a map of the seafront. Some of the fishing boats. Sea's fairly well in. Plenty of trips, port trips. Yeah, 1911 Jumbo making rock. And this weekend is Armed Forces Day. And usually it's even for that. Even. Oh, we're off down side at Arbor. Arbor, Arbor. Well, let's see what time high tide is. Don't think that's working right. <laughs> well, I'm not reading it right. Is that a cafe over there? Is that that old, what they call it? Yeah. What they call it? Regal. Well, that's the Regal. That's the Regal lady. Oh, yeah. And that's the sea ground which has got a museum for They've got seaweed. Oh look, one from Brixham here. Here's a pirate ship. Funny looking pirates though. Now that pub there was a golden ball, we're always busy. It's been shut for about two or three years now. In fact, you can't even tell it they're a pub now. Another fish and chip shop, the Anchor. The Columbus Coffee House looks popular. Molly Malone's. If you watch Scarborough, the TV program written by Darren Lutton, Right at the creator of Benidorm, you'd have seen these, these stores featured in it. Arbor, Arbor Side gift shop. Another fish and chip shop, look, Arbor Side. It's a bit like a mini Blackpool is Scarborough Seafront, but a nicer version, I think. Although I've not been at Blackpool for a few years. So this boat used to do boat trips. The Regal Lady, I think it was called. It's been done up, it's a little cafe bar. Oh look, they even rescued soldiers from Dunkirk beaches in 1940. Oh, nice little cafe now. Especially on a day like today. Look at these, sea grown, wild ocean farming. Evidently they've got a seaweed farm nine miles out at sea. And they use it for all sorts, soap, beer, everything. Look up there, Scarborough Castle. There's the back of the Regal, Regal Lady. And down here, we have the Southern Star, cafe, restaurant and visitor centre. Tell you what, it's a lot nicer during the week when it's not as busy. Absolutely evening on the weekend. There you go, so this is the Sea Grown Centre. Tells you what they do. Future of seaweed. Discover the future of seaweed on, on board the Southern Star. It's not just what you get from the Chinese. Or tangled in your toes in sea. <laughs> Oops, wrong way.
There's your drinks menu. And here's your opening times. 10.30 till 5 most days. Saturday, 9.30 till 7. Sunday, 9.30 till 6. Looks very nice. So look, that's where we were half an hour or so ago. Far over there, and tonight I think Tom Jones is on in the open air theatre. What's she called? She's a diving bell. What's she called, Barbara? In living memory of, we'll get back to it. So there must be another one somewhere, it says The Bathing Bell on Westboro, 2008 and The Diving Bell on Vincent's Pier, which is this I guess, designed as a pair, celebrate Scarborough as the UK's first sea bathing resort from the 17th century through to uh, regeneration in the 21st century. There you go. That's a light park. So here we have the Lunar Park Scarborough, little fairground. Not a lot of rides, but it means you won't have suspenders and put junk kids. <laughs> uh, lovely little cafe over there, look. Very nice. Bit of music playing here, so I have to try and talk over it, I'm afraid. But yeah, so we're at the other end of the seafront now, far end. Or it could be the start if you're coming from the uh, North Bay, South Bay, North Bay, whichever side it is, I don't know. Anyway. This is one end of what I call the main seafront. Used to have a used to come here as well, my nan. Come here for a tea and a waffle with jam on. I used to come sit there, pot of tea and a waffle with jam on. So yeah, they even got seating areas up here now where you can enjoy your cuppa. And last time I were up here, last time I were up here, I saw dolphins. But not looking, not looking likely today. Not at the moment, anyway. See, he's looking quite calm. By Scarborough standards. So yeah, this bit here, the teapot, that's where we used to go. Open all year, weather permitting. <laughs> well, it's mainly because it's outside, so. So, yeah. That's my little look at the, what I call the Scarborough Seafront. Obviously, it goes a long way around there. To North Bay. Is it North Bay or South Bay? I can't remember. Anyway, other bay. And we'll try, if we get a chance, to show you that in another vlog. So, if you've enjoyed this short walk along Scarborough Seafront on this beautiful Wednesday at the end of June, I don't know what date it is, so I can't tell you. <laughs> um, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget what used to be where the big wheel is. Leave us a comment if you know. All right, guys, cheers, bye. Yeah, so it's a walk round here. Is North Bay around that end where they used to have where the open air theatre is and they used to have the amusement park which is no longer there sadly on towards Scolby as well um, all happy memories for me and that way is round to South Bay and up there somewhere is the castle so yeah this road takes you round to the North Bay where they, where they all park. I don't know if you can do it in summer but all the motor homes park in winter. There's hundreds of them some days. So here's a few um, directions. South Bay attractions on the seafront, Old Town, Town Centre 10 minutes, North Bay attractions and look at this, I didn't know this. 
Bronte up to Scarborough Castle 10 minutes and Bronte's grave. I didn't know she were buried here. So a bit of information for you. Oh, Elvis. Elvis is on 25th at the Spa Theatre. That's this Sunday. Right. Looks like we're going for fish and chips. I think we're eating in at the fish pan. Pinch me menu. Pinch me menu. I'll just video in it. That's sir. Pinch me menu. You have two. You're being greedy. You have two. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. I'm going to have things special. Is that all right? Thank you. Special. Still, still going on about that yesterday. Thank you. Special getaway. Because I got in as a pensioner at cricket by accident. What are you having? I'm going to have fish and chips special. Yeah, I think so. Is that? Do you reckon? Yes. I must have your curry tonight. I'll go for one. The food is here. There's my £13.50 special that came with a drink, bread and curry sauce. Barbara's got fish cakes. That, a pensioner special. I should have been a pensioner today. Look at the size of that. And Caitlin has got a pensioner special. And that is our sea view. And that is Barbara licking her fingers. Did you hear her? <laughs> I'll have to see if anybody else skinny fish is that compared to that one. Look at that one. No. So, our fish and chips at the fish pan. Well, my fish wasn't very good. God's why I got to admit, it was all right. I think it must have been addict because it was really thin and there wasn't much to it. There were more batter than fish. Uh, chips were nice, curry sauce were nice. £13.50 to eat in. It's not too bad, is it? I don't know. It's not too bad. You're on the seafront, nice view, but last bit. My dad and Barbara used to go there regular and they used to be really nice, but it were not as good as normal. Obviously, I ate it all, you don't want to waste it, do you? So, um, yeah, I would give a 6 out of 10, but that's just on this one visit, because looking at some of the fish, they look really nice. So, that's just my opinion on my fish on this visit. And it's certainly busy enough. Look, people are queuing to go in. 